Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or welcome back as the case may be. We are up to number 27 of our 1001 tarot spreads. Today is another, let's look ahead at the time frame type reading. This case, it is a set of three. So the next three days, next three weeks, next three months. Trying to go further out than that in tarot gets weird when you're trying to do more than months. Uh, oh, excuse me. Trying to get more than months ahead, I found, gets weird with tarot. Too many choices can, can change outcomes at that point. So we are still using the Mythos Tarot this week, and we're going to get right into it. So this spread wants us to use the minor arcana only, so I have separated out the major arcana. Card one represents factors or people who will be helpful to us over the next time period. Card number two represents those that stand in our way, that block our path. And card number three represents what is the result at the end of the period. I'm sorry, represents what you can do to achieve the result that you want at the end of the period. It's okay. Wordsing is hard. It happens. So card number one, we have the Eight of Coins. Card number two, the Ten of Wands. Oh, uh, the Eight of Coins is reversed. And card number three, we have the Queen of Swords reversed. All right. So, Eight of Coins reversed. There we are. It is um, Chiron. So Eight of Coins, my brain is blanking. Regal. Card one represents that which will help you. In this case, the Eight of Coins being reversed, Eight of Coins is typically your mentor figures, your masters of their craft, hence why they chose um, Chiron to be the the representative of this card. He was the mentor of Greek heroes, the centaur who uh, taught many of the heroes how to survive their various trials. Being reversed, I would say don't rely on your mentors too much in this next three month period, this next whatever your set of three is. Take what they have taught you, continue training it on your own. Don't let them solve your problem for you. Rely on their wisdom, rely on what they have given you, but don't don't just turn the problem over to them. Card number two, Ten of Wands, Iris. The Ten of Wands represents completion of some sort of intellectual endeavor. In this reading, it represents what is going to be in your way. Being upright, we're going with the interpretation of you will not complete what you set out to do in the next three months. But that's not a bad thing. That just means expand your time frame a little bit, which also makes a lot of sense with what our final card is. Uh, Iris is the embodiment of rainbows, of beauty, specifically natural beauty. She can also be viewed as a goddess of hope. So just because you're not going to finish whatever you start in this next time period, don't give up. Completion will come, just not in this time period. Last card is what is the expected result? What can you do to get that result that you want? Reversed is the Queen of Swords, Circe. Circe is an interesting character in Greek myth. So first off, just generic meaning for Queen of Swords is feminine energy, mastery over your, your challenges. Being reversed, Circe was a sorceress. She used, in her myth, the magic of natural items to accomplish her will, her desire. I would recommend, as far as actions associated with this card, look at the resources around you and how you can transform them into something beneficial to your goal. Being reversed not everything is going to be what it looks like. Some of those resources you are going to need to transform just like Circe did 
into a more usable state. That is the culmination of this three card reading, number 27. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.